The Honourable Member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, farmers and ranchers across Western Canada are out on the roads protesting and desperately trying to be heard. The feed crisis across Western Canada is devastating. And a chin wag with CP Rail and a virtual supply summit has done nothing to address a critical animal health issue. And the trucking mandates are making things even worse for Manitoba pork producers. With this crisis, why is the Prime Minister ignoring Western Canadian farmers? Why isn't he doing something to address this feed shortage crisis? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, COVID has disrupted uh, our lives in many, many different ways, and things are hard for farmers like they are hard for uh, people right across the country, even as we rely on them to continue to put food on our tables, to continue to support us. So we thank them for that. And we will continue to make sure we are getting through this pandemic the best way possible. That means making sure people get vaccinated to stay safe and not overwhelm our public, our health systems, and be there with supports for small businesses, for farmers, for industries that are hard hit by this pandemic. Those supports uh, are what is helping us through and making our recovery so strong. Honourable Member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's Liberal policies are making it more difficult for Canadians to even purchase groceries and afford the food that they need. But when they are contributing to an animal health crisis, that is a new low for this government. Instead of gauging the feed in their bins by the weeks or even the months, the ranchers are gauging it by the minute. Many of them are scraping the bottom of the bin. Producers and cattle ranchers are putting their animals on rations. Pork producers in Manitoba, Quebec and Ontario are culling their herds. This is an animal health crisis. So when there is a crisis, why is the Prime Minister's default to blame Canadians instead of finding a solution? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, we know what the solution is and we've been working on the solution with Canadians for the past two years. Keep supporting small businesses, keep supporting our ranchers and farmers, continue to rely on science and evidence and public health measures uh, to minimize the impacts of this pandemic, continue to invest, to be there for people. While the Conservative Party has criticized us for doing too much to support Canadians, we know that investing up front to support Canadians is what has led us to have uh, a strong economic recovery and low impacts of COVID. There are still challenges. We will continue to be there for member for foothills so mr uh, mr speaker the agriculture minister came back from washington and said the u.s mainland is going to be open to pei potatoes in the coming weeks and we'll have access to puerto rico maybe this week so shockingly i guess it was a political dispute and had nothing to do with the quality of pei potatoes so knowing now that it is a political dispute Will the Liberals lift their self-imposed export ban on potatoes to the United States this month, yes or no? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. When I sat down with President Biden uh, just a few months ago, uh, we spent uh, time directly speaking about this potato issue. Uh, we know uh, that the hard work and the quality of, uh, of the uh, potatoes grown in Prince Edward Island is without dispute. We support those farmers. We support farmers across the country. We will continue to work uh, with our partners, particularly the United States in this case, uh, to resolve it and to demonstrate that Canadian potatoes are among the best in the world. Member for Foothills. Mr. Speaker, Islanders aren't looking for promises, they're looking for results. Yeah, yeah. The Agriculture Minister said that Secretary Vilsack said that they would have access to the U.S. mainland and Puerto Rico perhaps this week. Yet still, nothing has happened. And now, Secretary Vilsack has said there is absolutely no timeline to reopen the United States mainland or pre Puerto Rico to PEI potatoes. That is not what the Agriculture Minister promised PEI potato growers. So, do we believe the Agriculture Minister? the Prime no. Minister or no. Secretary Vilsack? Who's telling the truth? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as Islanders know well, we have been engaged on this issue from the very beginning. Uh, Ministers Bebo and Macaulay had a uh, very uh, effective trip to Washington just last week uh, where they were able to engage directly uh, on finding solutions for this issue. We know how difficult it is for Islanders, uh, but we are going to continue to stay uh, on their side, uh, by their sides, working with them uh, to resolve this as quickly as possible.